Hi and good morning. This is your girl Real. And how are you feeling this morning? Hope everybody is up and feeling great and good. As y'all can see, my voice is like in a little. Uh, but you know, I've been at home screaming. That's how we talk in our family. Everybody's just fucking loud. So I've been fucking loud up in this bitch. So um, yeah, can we just? You know what? And I done talked about this shit before, and this is like really starting to piss me the fuck off. Like, for real. And I'm sure other people, other women, and men probably, too, uh, is going through this. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, that's funny. Um, <clears throat> and that's people calling them uh, through messenger on Facebook, and now they want to video chat on fucking Instagram. Then they want to ask you, what's your WhatsApp motherfucking um, number or something? Bitch, I'm not even on that shit. And no, no. See, I think like too much information is just getting thrown at people and they feel like they can just use it. I mean, <clears throat> yes, we do. We already are aware that social media is for uh, for us to socialize with each other <clears throat> and to communicate. But when you're trying to get all like extra personal with the call and you want a video call, that's personal. That's not for you to be calling somebody else that you don't know, a female that you're trying to shoot your shot at. That's not how you go about it. If it's somebody online that you like, I think, well, on, on social media that you call yourself liking or, or whatever the fuck, I don't know, you hypnotized by the photos. I, I don't know. Cause there's no other way that you could possibly like this person because you don't even know them. But so, but you're interested in getting to know them, and that's cool, right? So this is how you go about that. If you're trying to get to know her, like, I feel that you should um respond to some of her posts just say don't be like hey beautiful and all that like you look nice i like you know you can you know, like you look nice hello uh introduce yourself <clears throat> you know eventually but first you come up with just like a regular compliment co- co- comment like anybody else so she posts something or he posts something you just you respond to that like you know oh i like that that's nice that's cute you know what I'm saying, do your thing, I'm proud of you, congratulations, oh, it's okay, you know, whatever it is, like, comment on the, on the photo, right, and then, on the video, and, um, then you can wait a little minute, and then you can say, hi, my name is such and such, and, um, I don't know, maybe she's not from your city, or maybe she is, I don't know, so that's another thing, too, y'all motherfuckers live, like, so far apart, but if you willing to travel to see a motherfucker, some people be feeling that way about people, like, they really will come and motherfucking leave their country and come see you, for somebody they don't even really know, what the fuck is going on, but the shit happens, okay, so, but if you're feeling that way, but the etiquette is, you comment on her photo, then you introduce yourself at some point, still, like, um, in her, that she done posted, like, a, a, a video or a, a photo, you leave your uh, comment right there, be like, hi, my name is such and such, and you are, you know, because some people don't use their real name or whatever the case, or you know, so um, if she responds back or if he responds back, then then you can move from there. <clears throat> Wait a week, though, because, mind you, don't know this person a couple of days, not a week. I'll say, like, maybe two, three days, some shit like that. And um, wait a couple of days, and then <clears throat> you should, you can e- um, inbox them. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just, like it's gradual. You just don't come out like bam, I'm about to call this bitch. I like her bitches bam, bitch. No, you don't do no shit like that. What? No, that's unacceptable. So don't do things like that. And that's not like. And if somebody's like. But then again, some may, maybe they feeling the same way about you. You know what I'm saying? Like maybe they see you and like go through your shit. Like okay, I'm gonna get to know, and it and it can move. It, the the process can get sped up a little further, quicker. You know. So just be easy with that shit. Cause let me tell y'all something, yo. You know I always got a story and shit. These were yo. I had this. 
No, I'm not interested in meeting nobody on motherfucking, no, on no social media. But it is this one dude, though. <laughs> it is this one dude, though. Yo, it's this one dude, though. Woo, he's sexy like a motherfucker. I think that he would take care of this real good. Like, I have, I think you have potential to do this, guy. Now that I was do that right off the jump, like, don't, don't get it fucked up. But I am attracted to him. You know, you talk to somebody, like, you know, your sexual senses get the, like, hey, let me see what I'm, you know what I'm saying. Wait a minute. Have I ever seen that dog before? I don't like walking down no street. But motherfuckers got goddamn dogs. And he looks so nice. I think. I hope. But anyway. <clears throat> But yeah, but it is this one dude, though. He's sexy as shit. And one day he waved at me. Oh, that's another thing you can do. Like, you know, so I've been going with those pictures. Like, you know, I've called him. I said to him, and I did it like that, too. I put it on, under one of his um, photos. I was like, sexy photo. You know what I'm saying? Or he looked good or something like that, right? Like, and, along with me and other chicks who did the shit as well. Because he is a se- <sighs> mm a man, 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 you know what I'm saying, his body is nice, and, um, oh my God, like, y'all see I'm cheesing and shit, like, yo, you gotta be cheesing, boo, I don't even know, so I know how, like, dudes probably feel when they see somebody that they, like, with the, you know, you gotta be easy, cause my dude, like, he be wearing New York shit, and I'm like, wait, is he from New York, Then I look at his background, I'm like, Nah, but then he could be upstate somewhere. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? This dog is looking at me. I'm just walking down the street. I'm not even on the other side of the street. I ain't get on the sidewalk. I ain't got time for the bullshit. But the dog look friendly. Okay, yes, yeah, y'all know I'm taking my little walk through. I get up and do my little walk through. But anyway, yeah, so just... Be easy when you try to meet somebody. Do not do not call someone. There's no calling. Why are you calling? Who the fuck are you? I don't even know you. That's rude. It's wrong. It's just like disrespectful. Like bitch, don't call my motherfucking phone, ho. Just because the feature is there. Uh, no. That's a great way for your ass to get cursed the fuck all the way out and deleted. Dudes call my phone, I delete their ass. Like, uh, no, no. And then you didn't go through the pro- like. There's a way in which you talk to a woman. Like, okay, you you are a little overzealous, but you need to calm your ass the fuck down. <laughs> like my aunt say, this ain't that motherfucker. No, we're not doing that. So don't call somebody's phone that's creepy, person don't know you, like you be gradual with your comments with the person, and, and if they respond back, see that's the key, if they respond back, now if they respond back, that's different, now you done grab, you can gather up um, some conversation with this person, because if they don't, then they clearly don't want to talk to you, and it's okay, you know what I'm saying, everybody don't want to talk to everybody. Just how that shit go. You know what I'm saying? So, that's it for today. Please do not be so overzealous when you see somebody that you are attracted to. You interested in getting to know. Calm your ass down. Be gradual. Start first with um, just commenting on Whatever she posed or he posed. And then you can slowly but surely, like, you keep commenting. You know, not, not, not like you don't, like, comment on all her. Not, and, oh, and definitely don't do that. Don't comment on all the motherfucking photos. Like, come on now. Motherfuckers be going back to shit for me. I'm sure this everybody goes to this shit too. They go through your whole shit. I don't know, you've been on this shit since 1988. It didn't even start in 1988, but I'm just saying. You know that shit since 1988. They go back to, to click on a photo from there. You doing now? Nah, you spooky. You no. Now nah, you not. You definitely not getting responded to. You doing too much. I mean, you want to stand out, but doing that is just too much. 
I don't need you to comment on all my mother. You don't need to comment on all the pictures. That seems that's creepy. Like, okay, you like it, but and maybe it's, we talk about somebody that you're interested in getting to know on social media. Cause motherfuckers are hooked up and shit. It happens. I met this guy and some girl and and uh and like he was being well at the time when I met them, like, you know, he was being very gentle with her and and performing his manly duties to her as a as a woman, you know what I'm saying, by pulling out a chair and you know what I'm saying? And, you know, just being nice. You know, they in their beginning stages. You know what I'm saying? That's how you be at the beginning. Because you don't know each other. Y'all be nice to each other. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but then there are some tragic motherfucking stories. It's this one, this girl, <clears throat> met somebody. Well, this is one of those, meet somebody online shit. And he motherfucking, but that's a whole nother stuff. But he killed her motherfucking ass. And another one, she was stabbed all up. Like, it's crazy. So you have to be careful. And then, like, if you know that you're dealing with some shit, motherfucker, like, you know you a little special needs, like, you fall the fuck back. See, that's why you got to pay attention to these people. I tell you all this shit all the time. You got to psychoanalyze people. Like, I do it all the time. And you do that just by listening. Sit back and listen. <clears throat> Sit back and listen. And also, of course, you communicate as well. And um, then you get a sense of their their mind frame. Like, are they on the straight and narrow? Do these motherfuckers... Am I on... Where the fuck am I? This does not look like the street that I like. This is not... Is this it? Oh, shit. A tree came down. Okay, I'm good. Maybe... Oh, y'all have to... This is a pretty house. <laughs> I'm not even going to show it. I was some special shit I just did. Like, ooh, that's a pretty house. It went up on me. Hey, baby, I'm talking about that. You know what I'm saying? Like, God is talking to me, and he's talking talking through me to talk to you, to me. Like, you know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? Man, listen. But that was some special needs shit I just did. Because I was pointing at the house. And the house is beautiful. This one is too. I love house watching. Do y'all like to watch houses? I do. Okay, that's a whole other stuff. But listen. Yeah, be gradual with somebody that you're trying to meet online. <clears throat> Very gradual. You know what I'm saying? Spark up a conversation. If you can't spark up a conversation, that person isn't interested. They don't want to talk to you. Or, you know what I'm saying? Whatever. But then, you know, you can continue to, to shoot your shot, but don't, like, waste a whole lot of time on it. You understand what I'm saying? Because, mind you, it is social media. Like, and if you don't see this person on the regular, which I'm sure you don't, because most of the dudes that do that shit, I don't know they ass from, like, nowhere. Like, they made me have to shut my shit down. I had to put it back up, because I'm, I'm about to shut that shit down. Messenger again. I don't even want that shit. Like, no. You be saying hi to, to yourself, motherfucker. <laughs> Cause sometimes I will respond back though. If guys like say hi to me, like it's not an issue. Like you know, it, they inbox me. They say hi. I say hi back. You know, you can you can start a conversation that way too. And if you want to be a little private, I don't think that you know that, that that's an issue either. You know, but you be easy and gradual there too. You understand. That's how you move when you're trying to meet somebody. Like, nice and easy. You don't just be like, Bleh! like, I'm like, I love you. I want to, ooh, girl. Ooh, I want to lick your, ooh, bitch. First of all, that's rude and disrespectful. <laughs> but, um, yeah, be easy. And I know everybody want love and shit like that. Yes, they do. They want to have somebody. And and also, don't just accept somebody that's in, just in your life just to be accepted in your motherfucking life. Like, that doesn't... I don't even understand that shit. Like, I don't know. We do got to get a grip on life, right? On our own life. On our life, right? Whatever we're trying to do with our motherfucking self. Oh, this is another one of my... You know, some shit I designed my little shirt. But anyway, you know, real nice by real. Stop playing yourself. 
So, um, everybody want to be with somebody, but don't just accept somebody and you that, that don't make you happy. Now, mind you, relationships are very tricky. You're going to have periods where y'all probably can't stand each other, depending on how long. I think the longer you be with somebody, the more you probably can't stand their motherfucking ass. That's just how that comes. It's crazy, but it's true. <laughs> Can't be. You know what I'm saying? But see, that's why I be, finding somebody that you can communicate effectively with. So that, and the person that also knows how. Some people don't know, can't communicate because they don't know. Yo, look. They can't express themselves. They don't know how to express themselves. And that's okay. And if you can't do it verbally, then you know what you need to do? You need, you need, you have to write that shit down. It needs to be expressed in some type of way. Because how else would another person know what's going on in your mind so you two can move forward? And then, or maybe it's time for you two to separate. That's not. That's a whole other subject too. Because some of y'all motherfuckers need to be um, this way. Or maybe maybe it's not even time for that. Or maybe just take a break and come back and see. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, <laughs> that's what Kai say. Anyways, but anyways, y'all have a great day. Click, like, subscribe, all that shit. I'm not, um, I appreciate whatever you do. Thank you kindly. Um, yeah. So I see y'all again here. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, 8 a.m. ish. 8 a.m. ish. I woke up a little later today. You know, so y'all do know when I come to Flint, I am on vacation. So you know, I am on that. So that's why I'm. Damn, it be so many. Anyway, I do not live here. Anyway, y'all have a great day, and um, until I see you again, y'all be well. Uh, please be able to, hopefully you're able to express yourself to your lover, your spouse, your boyfriend, girlfriend. Um, no, pay attention to all the shit that another person do. You really do have to psychoanalyze people to make sure that you two are working and moving in the same direction so you can have a fulfilling relationship. Because everybody wants that. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm sorry, I got distracted. This lady pulling up. Hey, like dude, you got it? She's moving on slow. Uh, okay. But anyway, so, but yeah, so just take notes of all of that. Anyway. You guys have a great day. Next Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, 8 a.m. ish, I'll be here, your girl, real. Don't forget to get my book, Quickie. That's out. Uh, you can get it at your favorite retailer. Um, it's only as an ebook. It's seven short erotic stories. You, um, and also you can get it, just go up and down my page on Facebook, um, Real Oja, Instagram, Real Seductive. Um, Twitter, Real Seductive, and LinkedIn is Real Oja. So hit me up on there. Let's become, let's become friends. <laughs> All right. And, um, yeah. And also, ladies, you know I have my service called Seductive Art, which is around my sexuality. You know, you call me for that. Let me come to your party. You have a bachelorette party, girls' night nice out event. Um, or... Just any type of event, I got distracted, my bad. <laughs> Y'all know I'm, like, easily distracted. Um, they hit me up for that. And also, you know, I got my brand real nice. This is one of my little, my shirts. You had to rep for where I'm from, from uh, Flint. And y'all know the water crisis and all that shit and all the other crises that's going on in Flint. It's a whole bunch of shit. Anyway, y'all have a great day. All right, later.